Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to SWF Rebellion. I am the host with the most, CM Puma. We have got a hell of a matchup card for you guys this evening. We've got some round two uh, heavyweight tournament matches. Following that, we've got a, the final round one SWF Elite Championship tournament match and a couple of SWF Maiden tournament matches. Let's get into the match card. First off, starting off this evening, we have Jay Wolf taking off Tyler Adams. This is a round two matchup. Youngblood, who uh, knocked off Will Steele, which was, was probably the uh, upset of the night uh, a couple of weeks ago. He's going to be taking on Ryan Adams. Here in our Maidens uh, tournament, we have Jessica facing Selena. Then we have Calypso. He's bringing out the black and white paint for his matchup against Leo McKay. Leo McKay, if you recall, was attacked by Evelyn Reeves. We still don't know what that's about. Veronica Haas and Tiffany in our uh, Maidens tournament. And then rounding out round one, Jay Primetime said he's primetime. He's got to be um, in the main event or he's not wrestling. So SWF management, myself and the board, we thought, well, we got to have a match. So Vice is going to get his shot to knock off Jay Primetime. So with all of that said, let's get into our matchup. First up, Jay Wolf versus Tyler Adams. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, starting out in our first matchup here in Tampa, Florida. This man is by far the biggest man on the roster, taller than anybody by, mm, I think the next tallest person is Will Steele at 6'5", or no, that's Bruiser Brad, excuse me, Bruiser Brad is 6'11". Jay Wolf, seven foot two inches, 380 pounds. He is from Toronto, Ontario. This man tore through PWA a few years back. Can he do the same in SWF? We'll surely find out as he takes on Tyler Adams. Jay Wolf, ladies and gentlemen, standing in the ring. His opponent, as the crowd gets to their feet, coming in at six foot one inches, 235 pounds from Westminster, Colorado. Tyler Adams, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in the previous episodes, we've we've seen uh, the matchup between Tyler Adams and James Lanza, the, the hitman James Lanza. Of course, Tyler Adams got that victory. But then at the end of the episode, at the end of the last episode, we saw Tyler Adams and James Lanza shaking hands in the backstage area. What was that about? We still have yet to find out. Maybe we will find that out tonight. But first, Tyler Adams has got to get through Jay Wolf, which is not going to be an easy task. A man at six foot one is not a small man. But when the guy you're fighting is an entire foot taller than you at seven foot two, you're gonna have your hands full, my friend. The crowd is ready. People taking their seats. Jay Wolf, Tyler Adams. The re okay, that's interesting to see. Two gentlemen, they're showing respect for one another. Jay Wolf, uh, not known to do those things. And he, he immediately goes after Tyler Adams as the ref rings the bell. 
Tyler ducks the clothesline but get, catches one in the back of the head. Look at how big Jay Wolf is compared to Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams is not small, man. He is a big guy, and Jay Wolf just towers over him in height and weight. Look at the spine buster. Dear Lord, he goes immediately into the pin. And Noah kick out it. Tyler Adams may have been under the rope there. My goodness. That was uh, quite the move there. As he goes in hard with those knees to the chest. If a man can't breathe, the man can't fight. That's for sure. Over the top, the big man goes in. Tyler hits him down to the outside. Shout out to Rebel Energy. One of the sponsors here of Rebellion and SWF. A knee to the lower back of Jay Wolf. Tyler Adams kind of in control right now against the big man. Commentator's curse, ladies and gentlemen. Every time I say something about one superstar, the other begins to get, get the advantage, it looks like. Tyler Adams sliding back into the ring now. Wolf reaches and misses. Adams, STO to the big man. Chop him down. And just as that tries to happen, Wolf with the dragon screw. Tyler Adams spun around only to get caught and look at this and what is he doing oh my goodness he just destroyed Tyler Adams with that pounce my goodness and what's he doing here he's got him up and oh my god the full moon ladies and gentlemen that's it I, I'm gonna call it right there that is gonna be it for Tyler Adams Oh my goodness. Tyler Adams kicks out of a full moon. Who, who does that? Who gets dropped on their head from seven feet, seven plus feet in the air and kicks out and now seems to have an advantage on Wolf and the look on Wolf's face said it all. DDT right to the mat from Tyler Adams. Kick to the stomach, oh my goodness. What is he doing here? Is this the Dragon Slayer? It looked like it was. And look at this. Look at Tyler Adams. Kick right across the face of Jay Wolf. Holy Toledo. The Black Mass right to the cheek of Wolf. You see the grimace in Wolf's face and a two count. And a two count, Tyler Adams. I'm guessing you're going to have to do a little bit more than that. He takes a seat right in front of Jay Wolf. Is that a smart idea? And he goes after him a second time. Ducks him. Big clothesline by Jay, or excuse me, by Tyler. Jay into the corner now. Tyler stomping away, only to bring him back up. Jay pushes him away. Oh man, look at this. Good night. What a move there by Jay. And a kick out. Holy cow, he was up there. He was up there, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. And look at this, the seven footer going up and he dives. Adam's able to scoot out of the way. Could you imagine? Seven foot two, 400 pound body dropping on you? Good grief. Adams calling Wolf to his feet though. And a knee to the chest. He might have hurt himself a little bit in that. And Adams, instead of going for the pin, goes, picks him up. And here we go, another Dragon Slayer. This time he's not near the ropes. Is this how Tyler Adams wins? Is he gonna make Wolf tap out? It doesn't look like it in a snapmare. Wolf's able to get out of it, clutching his throat though. Wolf, look at this, into the corner. Oh my God, he just tosses the six footer into the center of the ring, one, then a two count only. Jay Wolf really putting the screws to Adams, and just as I say that, a reversal, picks up the big man, and what's he doing here? Oh my goodness, what a neck breaker that was. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Adams 
has defeated Jay Wolf. And I don't believe what I'm seeing. Look at the pounce here from just exploding Tyler Adams. And here we see the full moon from well over seven feet. And here is the the first Dragon Slayer as uh, Wolf's feet were under the ropes. And the second one ends up with a snapmare from Wolf. And then Tyler Adams, my goodness. My goodness, this man has knocked off the biggest man in SWF PWA history. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Adams, your first man to go on to the third round. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Adams has moved on. He will face the winner between Kid Hades, who defeated Hunter King in round one. The winner of Vice in primetime will face Kid Hades. The winner of that matchup will face Tyler Adams. Primetime, his demands have made our bracket wonky. My goodness. But first, before all of that, we've got Youngblood, who upset Will Steele in the last episode taking on Ryan Adams who defeated Alex Corzo. Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, in our second matchup of the evening, we have another second round matchup for the SWF Elite Championship. Those belts are still in production as we make our way closer and closer to the pay-per-view, which will be crowning achievement. And as soon as those belts are released, we will release them to you guys. So making his way down to the ring, the man who shocked the world. He took on the surprise entrant of our tournament in Will Steele. And Youngblood, hailing from Jacksonville, Florida, surprised the community with a victory. He means business, ladies and gentlemen. When you can come in and knock off a name like Will Steele, the black and gold, you might, you might just have it. Whatever it is, Youngblood might have it. Youngblood in the ring, anxiously waiting his opponent. I'm, uh, I'm really interested to see what Youngblood can do here. His opponent though, coming from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing 238 pounds. This is Ryan Adams. And as I said, he faced off against Alex Corzo in the first round and got that victory. Can he take on and take down one of the new favorites here to win this matchup. Can he win it over Youngblood? Let's find out. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. They meet up center of the ring, and immediately Adams goes after Youngblood and hits him with a falcon arrow. Shot to the head. Drags Youngblood to his feet, and just like that, tossed over Fireman's Carry. 
Youngblood now, he's going to toss Adams. It looked like he was tossing him into the corner, but he goes for a big drop kick, and Adams pushes him out of the way, right in, out of midair, and a belly-to-belly -belly for his efforts. My goodness. Ryan Adams showing that maybe the win over Will Steele for Youngblood was a fluke. We'll have to see. He's going to drag. He's going to get him up. And an enziguri back of the head to Youngblood. And immediately going right after him. That's a good strategy, even though it was reversed. Keep going after your man. Don't let him breathe for a second. Big drop kick after the forearm shot on the outside. Ryan Adams sitting position. Brings him up to one knee. And a, oh my goodness, a DDT. That might be a little more forceful and more have more impact because you are so close to the mat. Ryan Adams sending Youngblood over, and this time Adams gets the advantage by sending Youngblood out to the floor. The ref begins the count. Youngblood scoots out of the way. Look at this. Oh, nice wrestling takedown. Belly to back takedown. And out here on the outside, just wailing on Ryan Adams, my goodness. Youngblood a little frustrated, I don't blame him there. Knee to the face though by Ryan Adams. Shot to the stomach as the ref continues to count. Uh, he's at a six count, ladies and gentlemen. And Youngblood back in the ring. I don't know what happens, there's sudden death. If we, um, if we have a draw, who knows? Ryan Adams has him up, and a massive drop kick right to the face. And he's gonna go for the pin after that, and just a one count. Not a bad strategy, you kick a guy right in the face. From the second rope, both feet, my goodness. Over the top, reverse DDT by Youngblood, nice move there. Shot to the back, and look at this. Just pulling on that arm, cranking on that arm. Ryan Adams is not going to be able to deliver that discus clothesline that we know him for if his arm's not functioning right. Look at that. Chicken wing, gut buster, lung blower, whatever you want to call it. Ryan Adams has to slide out of the ring, kind of catch his breath a little bit. And Youngblood goes out. And is he waiting? Oh, he waited for Ryan Adams to come down. That's a, <laughs> That's brutal. Nice move there. Youngblood stomping on the back after just dropping Adams right on his face. There's, there's padding there, folks, but it's only two or three inches thick. And there's hard concrete underneath. And a DDT on the outside, my goodness. Holy cow. Stomp to the face. Youngblood in control. As the ref counts, he's up to six. And he's going to get Ryan Adams back in the ring. Youngblood now pick, picking him up. Pele kick right to the top of the head of Ryan Adams. And immediately goes, look at this. Big neck breaker. That's it. That's got to be it. Youngblood wisely going to drag Adams away from the ropes. Get down there for the pin. The ref, one, two. Oh, wow. A two count. Ryan Adams kicking out at almost just the last second there. Youngblood taunting, circling his prey, and that might have given Adams the window he needed as he hits him with a jawbreaker. Sends Youngblood into the corner. Oh boy. Turns him around, he wants to look him in the eyes as he tosses him down. Look at this, middle rope, and a drop kick right to the side of the head. You ever been kicked in the ear? Oh my gosh. Going for the pin now. One, two, and a two count. Ryan Adams struggling to believe Youngblood was able to kick out, and here we go. Are we gonna see that discus clothesline? Fortuitous contract. It was a little sloppy, but he landed it anyway. And is he gonna go for the pin after that? Maybe he is not satisfied. I don't believe he is. He is not satisfied with the way that move landed. He's got, got him up. 
Youngblood with the reversal. DDT. Man, oh man. And a pin. And a quick pin here. One, two, and a two count. That is probably more strategy than it was at trying to win. Every time your opponent has to kick out, they use quite a bit of energy to do so. Kick to the stomach. And Youngblood with the stomps. And dragging him towards the center of the ring. Look at this. Oh, man. Youngblood dropping the hammer fist and elbows now across the forehead of Ryan Adams. Oh, my goodness. Youngblood is on a warpath right now. Sitting him up and immediately, no, and a reversal. Big shot to the kidneys and a knee to the face. Jumping knee to the face. Youngblood tries to use the turnbuckle to pull himself up. Adams, though, on the top rope. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to see here? Another drop kick. We're going to see another drop kick. No, an elbow to the top of the head. Very nice move. Old school move for the win, possibly. No. Youngblood barely gets that shoulder up. He is not ready to give in. And a reversal and a European uppercut. Nice move. Twisting, twirling neck breaker into the corner goes Ryan Adams Youngblood oh boy he's got Ryan Adams up on the second rope but Youngblood he gets kicked and a knee to the face why not go for the pin right there Adams that was your chance and a reversal from Youngblood look at this oh nice job ducking the clothesline and Adams with a clothesline of his own. Two, no. Just a two count. Ryan Adams clearly becoming frustrated more and more. He's going to pick up Youngblood, send him into the ropes again. And we're going to see this a second time. Second rope and a drop kick to the side of the head. Hops back in the ring. Does he go for the pin? No. He taunts the crowd and Youngblood. And that was just what Youngblood wanted. The cockiness of Ryan Adams played right into his hands. Pele kick again. Right to the top of the head. Maybe rattling that brain a little bit. Youngblood now going down for the pin. One, two. Oh my goodness. I was certain that was three. The ref was so close to the mat. Youngblood calling Adams to his feet. Hooks him up in the air. Brain buster. That's it. That's it. That one, that last pin was so close. This has got to be it. No. <laughs> Ryan Adams refusing to give up. Youngblood is having a hard time as he whips him around. Up to one knee now and a kick to the side of the head. No, Adam's able to reverse it, but a snapmare. And now with the chin lock is Youngblood. And Jawbreaker gets him out of it. It's a lot of damage to the top of Ryan Adams' head. I'm not sure if that's smart. There's the discus clothesline. There's the gratuitous contract. Is that going to put Youngblood away? Yes, it does, ladies and gentlemen. Youngblood has been eliminated by Ryan Adams after that virtuous contract clothesline landed flush this time. You see a boom, Pele kick right to the top of the head. And look at this neck breaker. Flinging Adams up in the air, Youngblood hits him hard with that neck breaker. We've seen this twice. Drop kick right to the side of the head. My goodness. Youngblood ducks one clothesline, but can't duck the second. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Adams is going to move on to the third round. He will face the winner of a matchup later on, Calypso and Leo McKay. Very surprising. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is a semifinal matchup for the Maidens Championship. The winner of Jessica versus Selena 
will go on to face the winner of Veronica Haas and Tiffany at the pay-per-view. And the winner of that match will be crowned the first ever SWF Maidens Champion. Without further ado, let's get into it. It's Jessica versus Selena. Ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring. Hailing from Northridge, California, she is Jessica. Now, if you've been following along here, in the last matchup, Jessica took on Princess from Harlem, New York. Jessica got the victory there and quickly moved on to the semifinals. Now, there, there were only eight women in our semifinals matchup. And since then, or excuse me, in our tournament, and since then we have um, signed a few more female talents. So look forward to seeing more of the maidens here on SWF Rebellion and in uh, our minor show, Showdown. And Jessica's opponent coming in from Houston, Texas. She is half of the team with Calypso. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Selena. Selena made her way to the semifinals by way of beating Rachel Walker. Rachel Walker, uh, one of the more strange individuals in SWF. Um, but Selena was able to pick up the victory nonetheless. Who's going to come out on top here? Is it going to be Selena? Is it going to be Jessica? Let's get into it and find out. Jessica's ready. Selena pumped up. The ref checks both superstars and rings that bell. Center of the ring. These two ladies tie up. And immediately Selena starts off with a headlock and a takeover and then a punch right to the face. And a shot to the pretty face of Jessica. She can't be happy about that. Nobody likes taking a knee to the face. When you put yourself out there like that, anything can happen. Nice belly to belly by Selena. She is in firm control. <laughs> Commentators curse again. And a big clothesline from Jessica sends Selena out to the outside. Now, both of these ladies are not very tall. Jessica is five foot five, Selena is five foot one. So when you send send one of those girls over the top rope, that's a pretty big hit. Boots to the chest now. And now what? look at Jessica out there. The, the ref is counting. Oh my goodness. The brutality of Jessica. She's got to get back in this ring if she wants to win. The ref's up to six. And there we go. Nope. We might have our first victory by count out here. Number. The ref is at eight. The ref is at nine. And my goodness. Wow. Selena Barely makes it in and makes Jessica pay for trying to get a cheap victory with a big knee to the face. Goes for the knee again, but Jessica hits her with the inverted leg drop. I cannot believe how close Selena was to being counted out. Nice standing moonsault. Man, oh man. Ref telling her to get down, and she does, but eats the canvas hard as Selena dodges out of the way. Oh, Selena was going for some sort of move there. Jessica reversed it with a shot to the back. Look at this. Oh, crossing it up and a neck breaker. My God. That'll scramble your brain for sure. Selena trying to use those ropes to get up, but Jessica stops it. And look at this. Oh, man, she cannot, cannot protect herself, and Selena goes face first into the mat. Jessica now going for the pin. Ooh, no, just a one count. Selena not ready to give up that easily. Elbow to the face. 
Nice reversal by Selena. And a running knee. Running knee from Selena. Oh, she goes again for a knee and misses off the second rope. And a jawbreaker there. Selena trying to get this match going in her favor. What a move there. And Selena wisely goes for the pin. No. Just a one count there as well. Look at this dragon. Jessica up and a reverse DDT. Without any hesitation, Selena grabs Jessica up. Sets her up. Are we going to see a power bomb? No. Nice reversal from Jessica. She plants Selena down with a DDT. And now just taunting Selena and getting the crowd fired up. Nice reversal. And a big knee to the face. Selena. Look at this. Nice snapmare. Into a chin lock. Wise move by Selena. Catch, catch your breath. Don't let Jessica up to her feet. Jessica being the, the taller of the two. And oh my goodness. If Selena can keep Jessica down. That is probably a wise game plan. Selena on the ropes now. Oh, Jessica goes for a knee and misses. And it costs her. Selena tosses her over the top rope. And taunting to the crowd. And right as Jessica gets back in. Big kick. Side of the face. My goodness. Jessica. A little irritated there. I don't blame her. Going over the top rope. That's not a, not a fun situation to be in. Smashing the face of Selena down. Stomping Selena. Oh. And again. And again with that face smash onto the onto the mat there, right on the Rebellion logo. Are we going to see it a third time? It looks like it. And, oh my God, Jessica now just toying with Selena. Just toying with her. Is she going to prove herself here? Backbreaker, neckbreaker, wow. Selena is reeling, folks. This might be it for her as she slowly makes her way to her feet, picks her up. Attitude adjustment from Jessica. One, two, that's it. Whoa, what a match that was. Ladies and gentlemen, Jessica moves on to the finals. She will be in that matchup at our first pay-per-view crowning achievement. As you see, Jessica stomping the face of Selena into the mat. My goodness, just the brutality. Look at Selena here. Nice whirlwind slam there. She goes for the pin, but is unfruitful. And as she goes for a power bomb, Jessica quickly realizes and DDTs Selena there. And then here it is. Attitude adjustment quickly jumps on the for the cover, and ladies and gentlemen, Jessica moves on to the finals for that SWF Maidens Championship. Great job by Jessica. Great job by Selena. It seems that Jessica was the better woman this evening, getting the victory and moving on to those finals for that Maiden Championship. Well, what do we have here? It looks like our backstage camera here is catching it. James Lanza coming up to Tyler Adams and it... Oh, he's re he, he wants his payment. Oh my God, Tyler Adams just told him to beat it. Oh man. And look, oh boy, look here. Lens is now, he's in the face of Tyler Adams. He wants that money and oh my God, he's got a fist full of dollars for you, Lanza. These guys are going at it. Oh my gosh. Lanza being tossed hard into those, into those boxes back there. These guys, Lanza's not kidding around. 
as I said earlier, Tyler Adams and James Lanza faced off in the first round. Tyler, what a cutter. Tyler ended up beating Lanza, but they met up backstage assuming they, they, they formed some sort of alliance, and I assumed it was to help Tyler Adams take out Jay Wolf, but in, he didn't need to. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And now, what is Lanza doing? What is he? No, don't do it. Oh, my God. God, there he power bombed him through the table. These fans are loving it. What does that mean for Tyler Adams? Moving along here in our evening, we've got Selena's better half in Calypso. He is going to be taking on Leo McKay. And as I've said before, Leo McKay, for some reason, was attacked by Evelyn Reeves after his matchup against Ryan Riley. Calypso managed to get a victory over the veteran Brett Storm. So let's take a look back at that attack. As we can see here, Evelyn comes sliding into the ring after Leo McKay's victory and just attacks Leo without any warrant, without any warning, and without any care for Leo. We don't know how that's going to play out, but we do know we've got a, a match coming up. Calypso versus Leo McKay. Let's get into it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. As I said, he is the other half of Selena, who we saw just um, not quite make it against Jessica. This man coming from Houston, Texas, he is Calypso. Now, as I've said previously, Calypso was able to get a victory over Brett Storm, which is no nothing to shake a stick at here. Brett Storm, a veteran in SWF and PWA NXT. And Calypso comes in as a rookie and manages to knock off the veteran. And Brett Storm, not happy about that at all not happy about that at all and he vented his frustrations on twitter if you're not following us on twitter hit us up there at sw federation underscore 2k for all the latest news and all the latest action between our superstars the lights go down ladies and gentlemen and the no nonsense he's not playing around he's here to fight Leo McKay. Now Leo McKay, probably one of the smaller guys on the roster, five foot eleven, coming from Memphis, Tennessee. And check him out. He just does not have a care in the world. He doesn't care who you are, where you're from, and what your fighting style is. Leo McKay is going to take you to the limit, as we saw in his matchup against Ryan Riley. Is he going to be able to overpower Calypso? Or is Calypso going to be able to ride the wave of taking out the veteran? We're going to find out right now, that's for sure. Calypso sliding out of the ring. Doesn't want to get anything started just yet. Leo McKay acted like Calypso wasn't even there. That's kind of a ballsy move, my friend. Ballsy move. Here we go, the ref makes sure both guys are ready. Calypso comes in and Leo stops him dead in his tracks with a kick right to the gut. My goodness. 
That was that was like the most technical way to stop a person. Just boot him right in the stomach. Stomp, or excuse me, a knee across the face of Calypso. Leo McKay's here to win that SWF championship, ladies and gentlemen, and it doesn't matter who is in his way. Nice shot from Calypso. As I said, Calypso seemed to have uh, anger. Brett Storm in his victory, saying on Twitter, Calypso, you're on my bad side. Be warned, watch your back. He also mentioned his foot may have been under the ring rope. Nice slam there by Calypso that the ref missed. Brett seems uh, feels he's been a little bit screwed in this tournament. Look at this. Got him up, and oh, lung blower. Nice move there from Calypso. So Calypso has a target on his back, and right now it's Brett Storm who's taking aim at that target. Not who you want on your bad side, that is for sure. Calypso on one knee, and look at this. McKay just working, working that arm, and oh, what a stomp. Nice move there. No, Calypso stops the big right hand. Doesn't go in immediately, and oh, we saw Selena do that move. Not surprising that their movesets would be similar as they are together, if you will. Nice shot to the stomach. It's gonna pick him up. And a cross leg Michinoku driver. Nice move there by Leo. Going to the second rope now. And he goes for a senton. Calypso able to slip out of the way and go for the pin. Great idea by Calypso, not even a one count, but he did make Leo have to kick out. That's, uh, that's making Leo use his strength and his stamina. Anyway, that's a good move there by Calypso. He's got, oh, Leo rolls out of the way from a chop from, the, from one knee and walks right into a neck breaker. Calypso now not going to the second rope. He's going all the way up to the top and goes for a moon stomp and misses, manages to get back to his feet. But Leo's right there to toss him into the corner. Nice reversal. Oh boy. Calypso going big right now. And look at this. He's got him up. Oh, what a cutter from the top rope. Quick to pick up Leo. Got him up and over to those ropes. And oh man, he hangs Leo out the dry and quickly goes for the pin. No, unable to put him away. Leo had some uh, choice words on Twitter as well. Look at this. Oh, gut buster. Man, oh man. Leo had some words for Evelyn Reeves. Whoever or whatever you are, don't try that again. You got guts, I'll give you that. But if you want me in the ring, just name the time and place. Leo is a fighter. And as we see, Calypso hit the gory special. My goodness, he calls that the Cosmic Clash. The gory bomb, excuse me. Calls that the Cosmic Clash. He goes down for a pin. Two, no. Just a two count. Calypso trying to understand what he's got to do. He is going up top. Are we about to see the falling star? Doesn't look like it as Leo makes slowly makes his way up to his feet. Nice reversal there. And has him up. Look at this. Oh, man. Full Nelson face buster, what a move. Great job there by Calypso as he's got him up and drops him hard right on the center of the shield. Man, oh man. Calypso now. Now are we going to see it? The falling star, that's 630 centon. If he hits this, Leo could be done. He's up there patiently waiting. And oh my God, he lands it. Quickly jumps on Leo for the pin. One, two, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Calypso is moving on. Wow. My goodness. 
Calypso is moving on to face Ryan Adams, who we saw previously in the night. What, man, what a go at it. Great job by both of these gentlemen. You see Leo getting hung up on the top rope right there. Nice job from Calypso to go for the pin. And working that knee. And here it is, the 630, the falling star. And ladies and gentlemen, that is what does it. Great job from both of these gentlemen. Calypso moving on to the semifinals to face, to face off against Ryan Adams. Leo rolling out of the ring. And Calypso is fired up, ladies and gentlemen. I don't blame him. He is one step closer to that SWF championship. Coming up next is the final matchup in our Maiden Maiden's Tournament, the final semi-finals matchup that's going to determine who is going to face Jessica at crowning achievement for that Maiden's Championship. We have the quite deranged-looking Veronica Haas taking on Tiffany. Somebody's got to win. Who's it going to be? making her way to the ring. As I said, one strange individual she hails from every man's nightmare. This is Veronica Haas. Now we uh, we kind of played up the fact that it could have been Veronica Haas and Rachel Walker in, oh my God, in those finals for that maiden championship but it didn't turn out quite that way as Rachel Walker was beaten by Selena, who we just saw was beaten by Jessica. So Jessica's in those finals. Veronica Haas making her way down to the ring as she got a victory over Don Carr, the main squeeze of Duke Zenda, who, by the way, Duke Zenda's gonna be in that internet championship matchup, that triple threat with Siler Jordan and Ryu Takashi. Don not able to make it too far, not out past the first round, thanks to Veronica Haas. Is she gonna do the same? Or are we gonna see Tiffany take the victory? Her opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the lights go down, it's purple, it's camo, it's the beautiful Tiffany. Now Tiffany beat Rogue and Jolly, our resident foreign superstar here in SWF. Rogue is from Punjab, India. Tiffany comes in, first match up here in SWF from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and comes in and gets the victory over Rogue and Jolly. She looks to make the same happen here tonight against Veronica Haas. Is she, is she crazy enough? Is she willing to go that extra mile, walk on those hot coals to take out the, and what I can only describe as deranged, Veronica Haas? Let's see, ref checks both superstars. Okay, she might be a crazy person, but she's got some respect for her fellow superstars. And just like that, immediately jumps on her 
and starts wailing on Tiffany, does Veronica Haas. She climbs way up to the top rope. Oh, quickly jumps down. It didn't look like she was going for a top rope move, and maybe it was just a ploy, just to throw Tiffany off, because right now, Veronica is in full control, and the momentum is heavy in her favor. Shots to the back of the head now, pulling Jessica to her feet. Nice reversal. Veronica goes into the corner. Oh, man. Going up to that second rope. Are we going to see it? Yeah, we are. That hangman's choke. Tiffany, she might be going. She might be stepping over the line, doing some things out of the ordinary just to get a victory here over Veronica. Sending Veronica into the ropes now. Nice reversal, slapping Tiffany out of the way. Tiffany, though, with the fireman's carry. Big shot. Look at this. Oh, my God. What a jawbreaker. I don't think I've ever seen that move before. Great move by Tiffany. Picks her up. No. Veronica able to squirm out. And she's going to hit her with a neck breaker. And going to the second rope is Veronica. Body splash. No. There is nobody home. Jessica rings the doorbell anyway. DDT. She just dropped Jessica right on that doorbell. Picking. T Excuse me. I said Jessica. I meant Tiffany. Nice face buster to the knee. Can she even see with all that hair? My goodness. Veronica has got her up and drops her down hard on her neck. That This might be a quick match, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, no. Tiffany not giving up that easily. Veronica can't believe it. We might see a side of Tiffany, though, if she can ever get momentum swinging in her favor that we've never seen before. Look at this. Shot to the gut and an axe kick. Nice move. Nice move there by Tiffany. And instead of going for the pin, Tiffany's going to taunt to the crowd, giving Veronica just a few extra seconds to recover. But it may not matter. Tiffany got her up, and oh my goodness. Twist of fate, and she's going to drag Veronica to the center of the ring. Is that going to do it? Is Veronica going to go down to... No. No, she's not. Ver Veronica is able to kick out at the last second. And look at look at Tiffany here. Nice leg drop. Springboard moves are seeing Puma's weakness. I love those things. Jawbreaker now. And oh, Veronica looked at me maybe going for another Luthez, but a fireman's carry. Shut that down. Nice snapmare there from Tiffany. And just standing over the top of her, mocking her by not doing anything. She doesn't want to fight Veronica on the ground. She wants her standing on her feet. And Veronica is going to take that challenge and stand up right in her face. And that is where Tiffany makes the mistake. Snake eyes to Tiffany by Veronica. She's going to drag her out. Is that going to put Tiffany away? No, just a one count there. But wise move, as I've said. Making your opponent kick out is a surefire way to get them tired. Veronica going to the top rope now. Going for a top rope senton, and she eats nothing but canvas. And Tiffany capitalizes on that. Goes for the victory, and no, just a two count. Man, where is Veronica getting the strength after that top rope miss? Second rope by Tiffany. Body splash. Nope. These top rope moves for either of these ladies are not landing. And what has they got to do to land one of those moves or just put the, their opponent away? Shot to the face is going to send Tiffany to the outside. Veronica not chasing her immediately either. May just let her get counted out. Sound strategy. Not the best way to win a matchup. But it is a sound strategy, but she goes out in a big kick to the stomach of Tiffany. And out here on the floor, just headbutt after headbutt. My gosh. 
The ref counting away. And, oh, okay. Veronica is going to drag Tiffany over. Put her in that ring. Yes, she is. Oh, boy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, man. What a neck breaker. That starts the count back over. And a reversal from Tiffany at the last possible second sends Veronica in to that turnbuckle. Nice move, Veronica. Not ready to give up yet. She starts the kicks. And nice reversal. She gets a reversal of her own. Quickly, though, picks up Veronica and tosses her into the ring. Count outs. You'll still win, but did you really earn it? Tiffany now rolls Veronica over. Going for the pin. The ref gets down one. No. Just a one count, making their opponent work. He's got Veronica by the head and dropping heavy elbows right across the top of the head. As Veronica lays on the shield there. He's got her up to her feet, kick to the stomach. And here it is, axe kick. Axe kick to Veronica Haas, is that gonna be it? And instead of going for the pin, Tiffany stops to catch her breath. And look at this, and that is just what Veronica was needing. Uh-oh. Pulling out her own hair. Veronica might have flipped the switch here. Veronica might have snapped a little bit, and she's got Tiffany up and drops her right onto her neck. She's going to drag her out. That might be it for Tiffany. Is this deranged woman going to make it to the finals? Oh my God, Tiffany kicks out Veronica's arguing with the ref. That was three. Tiffany though, man, putting up a major fight. A lot is at stake here and neither woman wants to give it up. Veronica really cranking that neck of Tiffany. My goodness, and slamming her down to the mat. Oh, what a boot right to the face. Tiffany, though, shrugs off that boot to the face with a dragon corkscrew. Man. And we saw this from Jessica earlier, smashing the face of Veronica. Not that you can tell. Veronica making her way to her feet. And whatever Tiffany had planned, Veronica saw it coming. Nice reversal arm breaker there. Knee right across the bridge of her nose. How's she not busted open? I don't know. Neck breaker. Big neck breaker. And look how cocky Veronica is going for the pin. And that might have cost her. Just a two count. But Veronica is begging Tiffany to get back up and we're gonna see it again. Oh my goodness. The Haas slam, I'm calling that. That's the third one. Tiffany might be done and she is. Three times the charm and Veronica laughing in the face of Tiffany after that third slam as we see it here. This one's center of the ring almost, my goodness. But Tiffany not willing to give up. Nice axe kick there. And a twist of fate early on in the matchup. Looked like it could have put in Veronica away. Here we see Veronica make almost a fatal mistake. Missing that, missing that top rope senton. See another axe kick here. And Veronica Haas, ladies and gentlemen, Showed her sportsmanship by shaking the hand at the beginning of the match, but quickly turns on the crazy switch and puts out Tiffany, one, two, three. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening. This was requested by Jay Primetime that his matchup be in the main event. This is the final matchup 
of the first round, the winner of this match, will go on to face Kid Hades in the next round. And that'll round out our second round. And they will be, once again, bringing up the rear. But that's all right. J Prime Time, you want to get in, you can get in anytime you want. You just got to get past Vice first. Yes, Lord. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's end this episode of Rebellion on a high note. Making his way to the ring. Real shit, no lie. Coming from Port au Prince, Haiti. This man is Vice. Vice, going way back, was the first ever champion here in SWF PWA NXT. Back when it was NXT, Vice came in, won that ladder match, and was the victor. Will he be able to pull off a victory and continue? His road to crowning achievement, we'll have to see. He's got to go through J Primetime first. Coming in hard and fast on that Harley Davidson motorcycle. He is here to capture the swag. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jay Primetime. He is coming to us from Miami, Florida, just down the road. As we started this show, you saw we were in Tampa, Florida. That might be an advantage. This might be home field advantage here for Jay Primetime. Will he get the victory? Vice is a tough competitor. He is one of the hardest hitting guys I've ever seen. And this guy is not going to roll over lightly. Let's see if Jay Primetime Green can get the victory here over Vice. Here we go. Jay is ready. Vice not doesn't look very concerned at all. And Jay's gonna start this thing off with a huge backbreaker. Man, oh man, what a way to start. Looked like Vice was going in for something. But Jay put the kibosh on that. Jay now has Vice up to his feet. Grabs him straight by the head, and look at this. Drops him down hard, off the ropes. What an elbow, oh my goodness. He is moving very quickly. Hard, hard for me to keep up here. Sending Vice across the ropes. They bounce off each other, Vice uses that opportunity. Sends Jay, and oh man, what a kick. And Jay immediately starts out to the outside. I'm telling you, the punches and the kicks of, of Vice he may not look very big, but the man packs a thousand pound punch. Six foot, 212 pounds as Vice. Jay Green is 6'3", 220 pounds, so these guys are pretty close to each other. What a super kick. He puts Vice down and drops him down across his knee. 
These guys got to get back in this ring. Nice reversal jawbreaker. And a shot to the stomach by Vice. He's going to pick Jay up immediately. Toss him in to that barricade and then turns around and puts him in the ring. Vice now working that arm of Jay. That arm uh, has got the cover on it, so it could be damaged in some way. We're not totally sure. Big boot just planting Jay hard onto the mat. Again, Jay rolls out of the ring. What does that tell you about Jay? What does that say about his character? Vice, we know. He's a brawler. He's a fighter. He's going to put you down any way he can. And if that's boots to the face, then by God, he's going to put boots to the face. But Jay Green sliding outside the ring, is that a strategy? Is he a little, a little frightened of this man? He looks like a crazy person. Vice looks like... Oh my goodness, nice springboard move there. With that hair, Vice looks like a wild man. And he might just be, as he is taking it to Green. And oh, what an uppercut there by Green. He's gonna pick him up on his shoulders. Flapjack, nice move by Green. Oh, he's going for the pin now. Not even a one count. Vice is not having that. He goes down for some sort of arm bar. Vice with a big left right to the face. Oh! Nice reversal there by Green. Good ring awareness, knowing what your opponent might be doing. And holy Toledo. The punches and slaps and the speed of Green is something we haven't seen here before. Reversal. Oh! Takes a shot and again. Jay rolls out of the ring. What and back in and uses that as an advantage. Northern Lights. Vice holding his back, but it's not, it doesn't matter. A little pain is not gonna stop this man. Look at this. Oh! A show, a second one. Below the belt, ref. Come on. You gotta see those things, ref. He is calling Jay to his feet. What is Vice have in store? Oh, pushed out of the way and lands hard right on his tailbone. That probably didn't feel that great. Over the top goes Vice. Jay follows him out. Into the barricade, Vice was going to get back in the ring, but thought better of it. Eats an elbow for his efforts. And now he climbs back into the ring. Followed by Jay. Jay catches a forearm. Look at this. Up. Blue Thunderbomb from Vice. That could be it. Two. No. Just at the last second. Just at the last second, Green is able to kick out. Oh. Arm breaker there. Got him hooked up. Oh, what a reversal. Vice, seeing what was about to happen, is able to capitalize. Oh, Vice, a little tired. That pretty much being on offense the whole time. Looks to be like it is worn out. Vice, what a kick by Green. Did Vice run out of gas? Is that Jay's playing the whole time? rope a dope him? Keep going in and out of the ring. Make Vice chase him, I don't know. Nice elbow to the face though. Look at Vice hooking him up. Straight up in the air and a pile driver. Double underhook pile driver from Vice. Ladies and gentlemen, Green might be done. Is that hand under the rope? It doesn't look like it. Two and oh my gosh. Holy cow. Vice hits Hades' last gift on Jay, and he is able to kick out. I, that is just yeah, okay. That's crazy. Jay wants to win, ladies and gentlemen, and who who can blame him? Hooking him up, 
Picking him straight up in the air and drops him down hard with the power bomb. Goes for the pin. Two. Vice kicks out, but Jay quickly puts puts on the Boston Crab. Is Vice going to kick out? Yes, he does. He is able to worm his way free from Jay Green, and he's going to use this opportunity to taunt to the crowd. I don't know if I would do that. Vice is uh, unpredictable. Sending him into the ropes and a drop kick. Second drop kick. Ducks him. Nice neck breaker from Jay Green. He's going to pick Vice up here. Super kick. Super kick right to the chin. And Vice shakes it off the beard. Must have absorbed some of that impact. Fireman's carry by Green. Oh boy. Sending Vice way out. And he waits patiently for Vice to get to his feet. One side of the ring to the other in a nice diving over the top rope move. Whoa. Okay, guys, you're both going to get counted out. I don't know how we are going to decide who the victor is, who's going to move on. This is a tournament, fellas. This is not, oh my goodness. If you both get counted out, the, the next match will be triple threat maybe against Kid Hades. Who knows? Jay gets tossed towards the ring. Vice taunted into the crowd. Ref, what number are you on? Looks like seven here, and Jay's gonna get tossed back into the ring. Vice follows in after him. They were they were pretty far from the ring. I, that one was uh that was a little close. Not as close as oh, hold on. Royal Palm, the blue thunder bomb, just drops Jay hard onto the mat, and Vice is gonna go for the pin. Two. Oh my goodness. Yes, Lord. The Royal Palm puts Jay Primetime Green out of commission. And Vice is going to move on to face Kid Hades. Look at this reversal. Vice going for a belly to belly. But Jay throws him off. You see the first Royal Palm. The body of Jay just slinging around. A super kick. And right here, Hades' last gift. I was certain that was it. Jay was able to kick out. Delivers a massive power bomb. And after Vice kicks out of that, he kicks out of the Boston Crab as well. That is going to be it for our show, ladies and gentlemen. Vice moves on to face Kid Hades in the last matchup for round two. Come back next time for more Showdown and Rebellion.